So, welcome back to this quirky base builder. For anyone new, I play games for the storytelling and challenge, which generally means taking my time, trying to stay thematic, and avoiding exploits. If you prefer min-maxing or speeding through content, then my stuff may not be for you, although you're welcome to join us for a while to find out. Okay, so let's get into it. We've got a lot of things that we want to try to accomplish here in today's episode. And I think we, for the most part, want to finish doing some of these things that we've started. That's going to take a chunk of time. But we also want to go ahead and start to set ourselves up for some additional things. Like, I want to, I want to get set up to be able to handle our polluted dirt and polluted water. And the way to do that is, I think, over here we're going to want to have some, uh, what are these things called? They're called compost heaps. We'll set up two of them, I think, and that will allow us to start converting our polluted dirt. That'll be nice, the fact that it's right next to the bathroom, because this is a primary source of polluted dirt for the moment. And then that'll handle the dirt aspect, but we need to figure out what we're going to do about the polluted water. And that's a little bit trickier because what we need is to find a good place to have a reservoir of it. So we have polluted water down here. We could always add our polluted water that we generate to something like these existing pools of, of polluted water. But that's less than ideal because if we look at the germ overlay, you can see that currently this polluted water has no germs. It, I know that might be a little bit nonsensical that it's polluted but doesn't have germs but yet that's that's the way it is that's the way it works so the polluted water that we're going to get out of our washroom and later on our bathroom is going to be polluted water that actually has the what's it called food contamination it's called food, food poisoning the food poisoning germ so obviously that's not great let me let me go ahead and get some more research going here while I'm thinking about it. I don't want to fall too far behind on that. I think what we want to do, we got the light bulb ready. We don't really need this for the moment. So I think we want to go ahead and start taking a look at plumbing so that we can have those things available to us when it's time for it. Double checking really quickly here. Our food situation is okay. It's not great, but it, it will do for the time being. Um, and once we get this ceiling light built, then um, then I can go ahead and start planting some, some blossom berries over here. Not sure why they're not building that yet. So let's go ahead and copy settings. Bristle blossoms. That's what I meant to say. Okay, there we go. So we'll get those five right there. Now, uh, and we'll just go ahead and prioritize this. Okay, yeah, so like this guy right now is he's he's washing his hands, but here Frankie the farmer is cleaning out this outhouse. These these right here, let me go back to this. The um, oxygen here and the dirt and the polluted dirt all have food poisoning on them. And we do not want those germs floating around our our base, particularly because we have several dupes who are extremely vulnerable to it. All right. Um, oh, I need to figure out a way to get this out, this over here dug out. So let's let's do this. And I don't guess there's any reason not to just go ahead and dig all this out as well. Guess we don't we don't need that row of sand. But what we do need, we need, because because uh, carbon dioxide is only going to flow downward, so it's not going to come back up into that area right there. But since it's sand, it's just force of habit. I always mark those for for uh, digging as well. And yeah, let's just go ahead and I guess dig dig to there and go ahead and send our scaffolding the whole way across for now. That's all fine. I don't think any of this is a big concern to us. Okay, so back to the matter at hand. We need to figure out where to put 
Now, I was thinking of carbon dioxide coming over here, but that's not what we're doing. Carbon dioxide is over here. Anyway, this, this is all fine as well. Yeah, this down here is where we need to get everything dug out for the carbon dioxide. Let's go ahead and I'm going to mark the, um, the polluted water here. Let me figure out what I want to do here. Yeah, okay, so I want... I want to mark the polluted water and polluted dirt as things to keep track of. We'll clear everything else. Okay, and is our washroom? Yeah, our, our, our mess hall, excuse me, not the washroom, the, the mess hall is looking good. Uh, we Once we get this right here done, we'll go ahead and and just redistribute all this water down to here and then we'll start making some good use of this and maybe this over here might be a decent place for our polluted water i'd rather do it over here the problem is the heat situation i guess we have a little bit of room to do it over here so let's let's go ahead and do that let's uh refinement right here let's go ahead and put a couple of composts here we want to have a storage bin and we want to go ahead and just dig everything up here I think what we want to do is have Ashkin the scientist earned a skill point very good field research sounds good to me let's go ahead and upgrade his hat his headgear so he'll be very excited about that and we've come a long way since the early days, the early cycles when we didn't have anybody who could even do research. Let me also make sure that we're storing our, our food. We can store gristleberries here and not the mush, the, bar, the mush bars. We don't want to store those in there anymore. From a food standpoint, we have five more mush bars going. That's fine. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and figure out now how to do... I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and build, build walls here. I'm going to make this for now. It'll do for now. Oops. Our reservoir of... I think I'll do it like this. Uh, this is going to be our reservoir for polluted water. Okay. Alright, the reason I am only digging part way down right now is because uh, it's just easier when, when digging a great big sort of a vertical shaft like this to just dig from the top down to the bottom. Because if you dig all the way to the bottom, they can't reach these tiles up here. Okay, so this then will be, will work for us for emptying bottles. That'll be the way to manually eliminate polluted water into our polluted water reservoir is through this bottle, bottle emptier. Okay, research complete. Very good. And then later on when we have this, uh, actually this is, this is actually not, now that I'm thinking about it, this is not really the ideal to, place to put this because I don't know that this is going to be where we want to have our permanent bathroom. I was actually kind of thinking of maybe putting the permanent bathroom over here. Let me take a look at the heat situation and the germs situation to just to to get a better sense of where we are safe to build well i guess we'll go ahead and do this for now and then when it's time for the bathroom we'll just rebuild the uh the compost that's not really that big of a deal let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit got enough activities i think to keep us occupied for for a few days how are we doing on coal we got six tons we'll start to get more tolls excuse me more more tons of coal from the uh oh do we not have a wire built i really need to stay on top of that we need a wire to run that light bulb 
Okay, um, we'll get more tons of coal from the hatches. The hatches eat things and then poop out coal, literally. So that's a convenient uh, alternative source for coal other than just digging it up. And you can see every once in a while you hear that noise, you very briefly see a little red alert thing pop up here. That's starvation. That means our dupes are, we're doing okay right now, but we're, we're every once in a while dipping down below a thousand calories, which is less than ideal. We, we want to get to a situation where they are eating their meals at mealtime instead of at regular intervals or not, or irregular intervals, I should say, throughout the day. But it's fine for now. Uh, we'll become more efficient in time, but right now there's just kind of a mad scramble to get the most important things done. I'm going to go ahead and slow it down a little bit, just so we can sort of sit back, enjoy the functioning of our base. Sometimes I like to just kind of sit back and watch the ant farm as our busy little ant dupes do their thing. Everybody's got their job. We've got super slow Ashkin the scientist here ever so slightly running around. Try to keep him... Oh, I guess he was the one who was starving, so we want to try to keep him just just in this area as much as possible, so the less moving he does, the better. And meanwhile, we do have this area down here that we could go ahead and start thinking about. So again, we've got some, some room here for another level. We can think about what we want to do there. We've got this level right here. Now, I think what I may end up doing, ultimately, is breaking apart the cooking and the research into separate rooms. And this might be a good place to do the cooking. Cooking does start to generate heat with the machinery that you use, and so I don't really want to have it too, too high up here and filtering heat out into the, spreading heat out into the rest of our base. Okay, I guess I, I could consider disabling this compost, but I don't guess there's really any need to. Anybody who actually starts to put the germ-filled polluted dirt into this compost is going to get the chance to wash their hands right here. So as long as we stay on top of that, should be okay. And I do worry a little bit here about the breathability. No, we're fine, actually. From a breathability standpoint, we're doing just fine. So our carbon dioxide is now relegated to the nether regions of our, of our base, which is what we want. So we're, we're building this storage bin here. This is where we are going to... This is the one and only place where we will allow storing of what's it called it is cultiv oh it's not under cultivatable soil it's under it's under organic okay so that's where we're going to put our polluted dirt simply for because polluted dirt then goes into the compost and comes out as dirt And we, want, we don't want it to happen too quickly because when we look at the polluted dirt in, in here, it goes in with food poisoning and it comes out with food poisoning. But the food poisoning does decrease because it's a high oxygen environment. So we don't want this to happen too quickly because we want the, the dirt to have time to sort of get most of the germs cleared out. Let's go ahead and increase the priority of our wires here. Um, we want we want to give a lot of the germs a chance to get cleared out before we start to co-mingle it with other materials in our storage bins. Okay, so now what do we have? We have an opportunity here for another dupe if we want to. I'm tempted to say no to that um, because we already have ranching covered plus noodle alarms is a disastrous weakness. We already have farming covered. Decreased construction is not a good weakness. And we have, uh, we don't have suit wearing covered. We do have operating, we don't have supplying. So, you know, 
some at some point we will need that, but uh, it's not really a priority right now. And we also, I think, are pushing the upper limits of how many dupes we want in our base until we get our food situation in a little bit more uh, resolved. Plus small bladder, I really don't like small bladder. That's a pretty terrible one. So we're gonna take the snazzy suit, which increases de decor for whoever wears it. And let's just go ahead and give this then to Ashkin the scientist, because he's in an important work area and he'll l help liven it up a little bit with the, with the snazzy suit. Okay, so Frankie the farmer got construction skill. That's fine. Snazzy, I shouldn't say snazzy, snazzy. Completely different. Okay, how are we looking here? Let's go ahead and start to also give... Give our dupes a place to start cleaning things up if and when they are ready to. So, I don't really want to store eggs in there. Dirt is good. Sand is good. Metal ore is good, algae is okay for now, and raw material is good, and seeds are good. That's that's all fine. Okay, so we'll, we will go ahead and store those things in that, and then we're going to spread those same settings for the other two. Research complete. Okay. All right, that's good. Our, our research is now starting to go much, much faster. I think what we need to start taking a look at after after plumbing what we really need actually is i want to get this fire pole going i like fire poles a lot they'll help us uh go down uh where the ladders are they'll help us go down much faster now in order to to do that however we are going to need to get the supercomputer built so it's time to go ahead and prioritize that and i think we have enough things prioritized now we can speed things up we can sit back, let them get a little bit of work done before I keep giving them brand new orders. Okay, so we now have light here on these bristle blossoms. We got some more up here. So we got 10 bristle blossoms. We got plenty of meal lice, meal wood plants uh, creating meal lice for us. But it's probably not enough just yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and for now, just for now, it looks like we probably, so seven, that's seven. Um, it looks like we probably have all of our planter boxes that are currently using mealwood that are currently housing mealwood already filled up so we're going to build seven more and then i think at that point we'll have enough mealwood to get us by until we decide to convert to uh, bristle blossoms like a full bristle blossom economy and then um, or alternatively if we get another dupe Okay, let me slow down. We got research complete. That was the, the rock crusher. That was the the uh, prerequisite technology for the fire pole. How are we doing on copper? I am keeping track of copper. We have four tons of copper. We're going to get a lot more when we dig this out. So there's going to be enough for us to go ahead and do our, our flag pole. Let's go ahead and speed back up again. Everybody kind of looks like they're they're running at uh, an effective level of efficiency. There's a lot more we can do to improve efficiency over the long term, but for now, it looks like it's going okay. Nobody is standing idle. Everybody's got work to do. Slowly making progress on the the tasks that we've added. Go ahead and copy the settings and add them now to the new planner boxes down here. I'm guessing we're, yeah, we finished producing the mush bars. I'm not gonna add any more unless this 
looks like it's going to drop uh, drop back down below 10,000. Because we should, for the most part, have enough plants to keep him busy cooking. And keeping everyone in, in uh, a stable state of food supply for the time being. I keep, like... Wanting to do something and then I'm pulling my hand back off the keyboard because I'm trying not to give them additional tasks right now. Okay, good. We're finally getting down here. We can finally start to, to get this done and hopefully we'll start to get this done as well. I actually think, given our oxygen situation, this up here is actually the higher priority. So let's go ahead and get this done. We can also go ahead and fill up the rest of those planter boxes. Okay, here he is flipping the, the polluted dirt. How's our... Our dirt still has 8,000 germs. That's not ideal, but again, as long as we keep plenty of oxygen up here. Now, we do have a little bit of polluted oxygen. We can see it right here. This uh, this light blue in the materials overlay, this light blue is oxygen, but this, this sort of a darkish green or gray, that's polluted oxygen. That's going to start to become a little bit of an issue the more of that we get in the base. What's unrefrigerated here? Well, of course, yeah. Lots, lots of things are unrefrigerated because we don't have a refrigerator built. Speaking of which, when he finishes his research here, that'll be the next thing we do is give ourselves the technology that allows us to build refrigerators. Okay, and now this is very good. We've got, we've got this pitcher pump, which is allowing us to to access our water very easily from down here, but we need more water because we're going to start to dip below the, the level that it can even reach, which means it is now a good time for us to do this. We're going to come up from below and we're going to watch the water come pouring down. I always get a little illogical rush of excitement when I when I rearrange water when we wash it watch watch it wash down because as I mentioned back in the first episode this game is really good at teaching you basic physics Okay, we got one more planter box here. So much so that I think it should be required curriculum for high school science classes. Nicola the chef earned a skill point. Great. Perfect. That's what we want. We now have his cooking as high up as it can go. And that's good because he is in many ways a terrible cook. We earned a colony achievement as well. To pay the bills, use duplicate skill points to buy out an entire branch of the skill tree. Great. Oh, and he gets his his new hat, which is great, and then Pay the Digger also earned a skill point, and we're going to give her super duper hard digging, and she gets a new hat. And so she'll run over here and put that on. And this time, I'll slow things down so we can see her put, put her hat on at regular speed. Jump up and down and clap. There we go. All right, nice job. Starting to come along. I haven't been paying attention, but presumably Nicola does suffer from his bouts of narcolepsy. I just haven't seen to happen recently. Okay, Frankie the farmer. So now we have a choice. He likes both crop tending and critter ranching. The thing is... Well, eventually we'll get them both. It's a question of which one to prioritize. I'm a little bit tempted to give him critter ranching, actually, because 
Whereas crop tending, we can we can obviously tend our crops already. He just becomes more effective at it and can use something called a micronutrient fertilizer. Um, I think that's what it's called. It looks like that's the word for it right there. Anyway, um, we he needs to have that skill to be able to use that machine, but I don't have enough fertilizer to really be using that machine right now anyway. So... The thing about the critter ranching is we actually really need somebody to be able to, um, what's it called, lasso, I guess, the, uh, the critters to start moving them. And nobody can do that at all unless they've got this skill. So we're going to do this because that's actually going to be a more urgent necessity for us than the... Uh... Oh, and I forgot one very important thing for him. Uh, it's going to be a more urgent uh, priority for us in the short term here. So let's go ahead and give him critter ranching. And he now looks like he's got a cowboy hat instead of a, a farmer's hat. And there he goes. He's going to put on his rancher hat. And I'm actually going to rename him. Jump up and down and clap. There you go. Pause. We're going to rename him now. He has graduated from being Frankie the Farmer. To being Frankie the Rancher. Okay. Let me just make sure. Did I... I did get everybody's... Uh, everybody's got a good name, right? Yeah, everybody has a good name. Okay. We want to get that right there taken care of. I think I want to go ahead and build a floor down here. Because I, I want to have the ability to start doing work here, and it's better to build the floor from above, because I could very easily accidentally break through the, the um, natural tiles here and wa have water start pouring down, and we don't want that. How far down can we go before we hit heat? We can go pretty far down, actually. Oh, and we got a uh, an object here that we need to dig out. This is a, I uh, forget what it's called, the same thing as this. Um, but I just forget what the category is called. Okay, research complete, fire pole, excellent. And so research, now it's time for the refrigerator. And meanwhile, Let's go ahead and start setting up our our poles. We're going to get our fire poles set up on the interior. I don't want to go all the way down here because I want people to be able to come up this ladder for now at regular speed. You can go down these fire poles much faster than you can go down ladders but you cannot come up them anywhere near as fast. And meanwhile, since we have plenty of oxygen in our base, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, deconstruct this oxygen diffuser, and that will allow us to build the uh, fire pole all the way down to the floor. And I'm gonna speed up and I'm going to take my hands off the keyboard so that these folks can work for a little while without me giving them additional orders. Nice. Okay. Looks like everybody's got the hang of what they're doing. Got our night shift. E eating their meals. Got really quickly take a look at the calories that they've got. Yeah, so ideally you want them to get all the way up to about 4,000 calories. I think that's the max that any one dupe can have. And that means that they could literally, at 4,000 calories, they could live for two full cycles without starving to death, except for the dupe or dupes. I don't remember how many we have who have the uh, bottomless stomach trait, which means they require extra calories every day. 
Okay, somebody's still starving. It looks like it's our uh, Frankie the Rancher, unfortunately. So we still have a situation where we're having to grab food and eat it at non-meal times. But I think over time that will start to get regulated. It'll, it'll start working itself out. And... I would say we're still just hovering just above the 10,000 calories. I was going to prioritize these uh, planter bot or these uh, um, mealwood plants, but I don't think we really need to prioritize them. I think we're doing okay right now from a from a plant food standpoint. So let's go ahead and actually prioritize this. Let's make sure that we get this done in this episode. And this is, uh, this is like prime real estate right here, so I'm really looking forward to having this area available to work with. Okay. There we go. Starting to get to work on it. Cycle 14 already. We've made a lot of progress. We've come a long way in 14 cycles. Now, obviously, really good players at this game are going to just absolutely scoff at that comment I just made. But for me, I feel like we've come a long way. Particularly with some of the detrimental um, choices that we've made starting this game out. Okay, so let's go ahead and give... Oh, wait a minute. Joshua the Doc. Yeah, okay. We'll go ahead and give him Bedside Manor. We don't need him to do either one of these other things right now, so Bedside Manor. Give him the, the new... Oh, it's got a little Band-Aid on the cap. I didn't notice that before. So slow it down so that we can watch him put on his new headgear. Our bristle blossoms here are getting close to being harvestable. Switching out the light blue for the orange. Guess that's orange. Orange is a word that I changed my pronunciation of in my life. I grew up in in eastern United States, where I am now, uh, in Maryland, and. We all pronounce it orange, and then when I lived in London, all my friends made fun of me. Whenever I said orange, they said, orange you what? And it gave me a bit of a, not really, but it sort of, it was, it was lighthearted, but it did kind of train me then to just start pronouncing it the way they pronounce it, which is orange. Okay. What a fascinating story everyone is thinking right now. Okay. Almost ready to break through here. This is going to be exciting. I'm not going to speed it up because I want to watch this water come cascading down at full or at regular speed, I should say. Splashing around. See, the physics are, are more sophisticated than you might expect. They actually have... A level of physics in this game that goes beyond my understanding of it, which I am always impressed with. What that means now is we can go ahead and get rid of that pitcher pump. We can go ahead and dig out these tiles. And we want this oxalate here to be... Well, we want all this gone. We need to even out the floor here so that even the water over here can uh, flood out pour out. And we've raised the water level here, so we'll continue to be able to have easy access to it from this pitcher pump for a while. 
and we've dug those out okay that's great so right here you may notice that this water right here is not there's not enough here to force enough uh, inertia or gravity or you know whatever action whatever energy source it would be that would normally push this to drip down doesn't exist right here so instead we're gonna have to mop that up and that's fine okay refrigerator this is this is good progress okay now now we're starting to, to cook with fire so we want to go ahead and refrigerate now that refrigerator requires a power source so we we're going to go ahead build the power source for now and we're going to delete this we're no longer going to store our food there instead we're going to store the edible food in the refrigerator and I think additionally, we want to, with that refrigerator, I think it's a good time to go ahead and take a look at how to turn our mess hall into a great hall. And that means having a decorative feature. So we're gonna have our very first decorative feature over here. It's just one, two, three, four, five. For symmetries purposes, we'll have five and then five and then uh, our plant right there. And then that'll be enough. In fact, I don't even need to dig these out right now. That'll be enough, I think, to turn this into a great hall. So a mess hall, room size, room size is 56. The great hall needs a minimum size of 32 so we got that covered the decor item of plus 20 decor that's what we're going to accomplish with our flower pot and of course a flower in it and then the morale bonus that they're going to get here is going to go from plus three to plus six and that'll be nice Okay, let's speed things up a little bit. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, okay, so we, we don't have enough uh, seeds, uh, mealwood seeds, to plant right there. That's why those aren't planted. And that's fine. Um, I'm not doing research right now, but one thing that we can start to do, but I'm going to make it a little bit of a lower priority, is we're going to start converting... Our floors over here into what are called hydroponic farms. You know what? I'm going to cancel it here. I'm going to use that level for something else ultimately, but for now, we're going to do this level as a hydroponic, as a row of hydroponic farms, and that means we'll be able to plant the bristle blossoms directly into those floor tiles okay we got a new blueprint to choose from here we got oxy fern i like that are there any dupes here that we really need we've got ranching covered we got digging covered we've got research covered we don't have tidying covered but it's not really a priority and that applies to both of those so we're going to take the oxy fern seed for now now good just to be clear um good players of this game will be well beyond five dupes at this point. However, I'm more interested in sort of the the develop. Oh, there he goes. Oh, it's Nicola the chef. There he is. Okay, he's he just decided to take a nap in the middle of the day. That's fine. Um, for me, I I enjoy the build the base building process. I enjoy sort of being able to slowly see things develop. I'm not all about maximum efficiency. I know a lot of players are. That's fine. I have absolutely no problem with players who who want to play that way. Um, all I can say about that is obviously you don't want to learn maximum efficiency from me. Okay. I've probably never played a game beyond the mid-game. So not too much further before it's going to start to become unch uncharted territory for me. Okay, so meanwhile, we've gone ahead and done that. We want to dig out all of this. Let's go ahead and get, get that as well. Um, assuming this is all, yeah, all nice, 
nice cold area for us to make use of. And I think then... I'll hold off building anything else. I'm actually going to lower the priority of, of this because it's fine for now. There's other things I would rather them spend their time doing. We do need more oxygen generation. Okay, so that's, that's going to start to become a concern. For now, this is not a great solution, but for now I'm just going to put another oxygen diffuser here. This is a temporary solution. We'll get all, as we move forward here, we'll start to get all of our our electrics um, sort of set up in a, oh, 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 wow. Our calories are really in bad shape. Glad I saw that, okay, and we have, we have a few plants that are gonna be ready soon, but not any, not immediately. So we need to go ahead and make some more mush bars. We'll make one per dupe for now. Anyway, uh, I don't remember exactly what I was saying. Oh yeah, we're going to set up our... Uh, we're going to have more than just this one coal generator. In fact, I need to disable this building right now. Finally, I remember to, to not waste coal because those batteries are filled already. Um, yeah, we're going to have multiple coal generators. And we're going to set it up so that the wires are better concealed because they detract from the decor. And we do want to, pri speaking of decor, we want to prioritize this flower pot. Okay, let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit here. Let's go ahead and get through one more cycle, I think. I'm not going to start research just now because there's nothing that's an immediate priority. And I want to have Ashkin providing a little bit of... Although he is super slow. Well, the more running around he does, the more he'll improve his athletics over time anyway. Uh, I want to have him helping out to get some of these other things done. And here we go. We're getting all of the water now out of this area. So we'll be able to start building up over here. That'll be a priority probably for next time. There's Ashkin. He's going to be the lucky fellow who gets to build the flower pot. I think, yes, eventually. I'm gonna go ahead and clear new, but I'm gonna set this oxalate, or uh, what's it called, o oxy fern seed. I'm gonna set that on the tracker there. Okay, Ashkin the scientist, construction skill raised, that's good. We got a refrigerator build, it's not plugged in yet, but we can go ahead and at least put our edibles in here. And prioritize that at six. So they'll start relocating food from here over to that refrigerator. Okay, how are we doing? Got our fire pole mostly built. We need this oxygen diffuser built. But it, we'll get there. Meanwhile, we're, we're doing okay from an oxygen standpoint. We got still a little bit of the polluted oxygen, but we'll have to get that filtered out once we start working with gases. You can see it takes, it's not immediate, it takes a while for the water to all start to flow down, but it does follow the laws of physics. And here we go. Let's put a briar seed in here, make that a high priority. And we're gonna watch as this mess hall becomes a great hall. Picked up dirt. Okay, does somebody have a a briar? Yeah, he, okay, right here. We've got uh, Frankie the Rancher carrying a briar seed. He's going to run up, plant it here, and we're going to see this mess all change color. I think. Okay, it didn't change color. Why not? Great hall, it did. Oh, it's the same color, but it's now a great hall. Plus six morale, very good. Okay, 
Excellent. Now, um, that's a that's a good accomplishment for us. We now have our bedrooms, our great hall, our washroom, our compost, our food situation looking okay. Enough oxygen being built, enough area. We got an attrib attribute increase here, construction skill, okay. Enough area down here for a little bit more carbon dioxide to filter down into. We filled up all of our planter boxes down here, so that's looking good. And what else do I want to hurry up and finish? There was something that I was thinking about a moment ago. Let's get the uh, refrigerator plugged in. And I think then, at that point, that'll be a nice break point for this episode, I believe. And obviously, we still need this over here. And let's go ahead and... Oh, no wonder I made that a lower priority. That's why it's not happening. We want that floor to be built so they can start reaching down here. In fact, I'll go ahead and make all of this. Oh, it is all five except for just those few things. I must have accidentally lowered the priority there without realizing I did it. Okay, oh, and we got a harvest, harvestable mealwood up there. I think we're okay. We're, again, we're skirting the limits of starvation. We need to do better. But we'll get there. We'll get there. We got nut, we got one uh, meal lice coming in. We got another one that's going to be ready momentarily. We got a couple more mush bars coming up. And some of these will hit 100%. And be harvestable very very soon so as we wind down this the 16th cycle of the contagious league i think we're in what i would describe as stable situation we got some well 98 percent we got some bristle blossoms that are about ready to be harvested so pretty good I think equilibrium now for us to go ahead and pick up with in our next episode. So I'm going to go ahead. It's not quite nighttime yet, but these guys are returning to work. I think this is a, is a good time to go ahead and call this one an episode. We've accomplished a lot. We know what we have to do moving forward in the next episode. So once more, I will say thank you all for watching. I do appreciate the comments, especially those of you who are better at this game than I. I know you can give me some good tips and already have. And I will see you all in the next episode.